In this section, we're going to go over setting up our virtual environment. A virtual environment is a copy of the Python interpreter in which we can install packaged privately without affecting the global Python interpreter that's installed on our system. Now, your future self is going to thank you for using a virtual environment whenever possible. It helps to keep code contained and make it more replicable since all the dependencies and site packages are in one place. People set up virtual environments numerous ways, but here are the commands that I follow. First, we're going to create a new project folder. Let's call ours MBA pandas class. To do this, we'll use the mk dir, make dir, and then the folder name, which we'll say MBA pandas class. Run that, and then we can ls to list it, great. And again, now we need to install Python 3.6.6 with PyM. To do so, let's navigate to the folder we just created and change Python to Python 3.6.6. So we can cd mba pandas class, and then pym shell 3.6.6. And we don't get any confirmation, but we can verify it's the correct version with python dash dash version. Great, we see that it's 3.6.6. Okay, let's now make a folder for our projection model within our new root directory. So let's make dir projection model. Confirm it's there, yep. Let's also make a folder to store our CSV files that we will use throughout the class. Let's just call this one MBA stats CSV. Now, creating our virtual environment, we're going to call ours VEMV. That's uh, V E N V. The dash M VEM option runs the VEM package, and again, VEM meaning virtual environment, from the standard library as a standalone script, where we're just passing the desired name as an argument. So again, let's make sure we're in our current working directory, the mba-pandas-class. We can print our work directory. We're in the right one. Great. And you'll see around the internet that most people use this vem as the virtual environment folder, but feel free to name it whatever. Just make sure your current directory is set to the mba-pandas-class, and then we can run this command, python -m vem, and then again, this is where the folder name would be. Um, so it's really folder name, but we're gonna be calling ours vem just for simplicity's sake. So we'll run that. Great, and after the command completes, we'll have a subdirectory with the name vem inside our MBA pandas class folder. So let's look here, and you can see it right there the new folder that we created. But uh, what we need to do is we need to activate the virtual environment. So to do this, once we're in the correct directory, we can run source and then vem slash bin slash activate. And you'll notice here that the vem folder, this means we're active in our new virtual environment. Now we're all set up. Uh, and one thing to keep in mind is you need to make sure you always activate your virtual environment before making any changes to the code or else you're going to run into some errors. So to, to deactivate, we just simply write the deactivate and you see here, there's no more vem. Um, so again, if we want to activate it, that's with the source space vem slash bin slash activate. And we're back live. In this next section, we'll install our modules and packages inside our virtual environment.